What's up, Beijing? Ladies and welcome to What's Up Beijing, where we cover interesting stories coming out of China. And this one concerns something that I'm sure many of my Gen Z incel adjacent fans <laughs> have looked into. I'm sure all of you are spending your time looks maxing. Maybe you're mogging someone. Maybe you're why pilled. I don't even know what that is. No, but whatever you're doing, it's probably not effective. <laughs> A lot of the science on this has shown that it's not really an actual effective way to change anything about your appearance. However, what if I were to tell you there was a way to use social media to get hotter? And what if I were to tell you it wasn't to be found on TikTok or on any of your social media, but it could only be found in China on a social media app called Little Red Book, AKA China's Instagram. What if that was your solution to becoming hot? This guy is the key. Now this is a guy named Shall I? Now this is him before Little Red Book. This is him after. Wait, what? <laughs> now, Shall I, in December of 2021, went to Little Red Book, Chinese Instagram, and he posted to the public a simple question. He said, I can't find a girlfriend. What do you think my problem is? That's it. That's what he said. And people responded asking questions and roasting him. <laughs> How old are you? How tall? What's your job? How much do you make? Do you own a home? Do you have a mortgage? Do you have a car? Do you get a loan? How old are your parents? Are they retired? But instead of like ignoring these questions, he answered all of them. Every single one. I was born in 96. I'm 5'7". I have a low-skill job. I make $500 a month. I have no insurance. I have no home. My parents are 49. I have a cheap car. Then they start roasting him. They say, feels like all of these factors play a role in why you can't find a girlfriend. Compared to all this, your looks aren't even important. <laughs> all of this is so bad. You're too short. You don't make money. You don't have a home. No one wants to marry you. Your degree can't help. <laughs> can't believe you were born in 96. You look like an uncle. Learn how to style yourself. <laughs> Instead of finding a girlfriend make some money <laughs> you should consider changing hairstyle working out they're just laughing at him i mean going on and on and on and most people when faced with this much public ridicule would break down i mean it's crazy they're roasting on everything not shawa <laughs> instead he went through all of the posts and said okay i'll try that one so he came back next week and said as suggested i've changed my hairstyle we're surprised that he even returned after being roasted so hard and they said, instead of a government worker, you look like a real estate agent. <laughs> you look 10 years younger than your last post. Yeah, you look 35. <laughs> They're still roasting him. Hairstyle's not good, but better than the last one. You gotta lose weight, you gotta change how you dress. And again, he takes the most popular thing. I gotta lose weight. He comes back three weeks later, he's lost a lot of weight. He full on grinded it. <laughs> okay, now he's changed his hairstyle and he's lost weight. You lost this much weight in half a month? That's really good. Now you look like a bad guy. <laughs> They're still roasting him, but he's making progress. Then they said his eyes look too mean. Do he has contact lenses? He has a hat. He starts posting pictures of all the different clothes options he found nearby. He tags them all and asks for help on styling himself. But now he's, he's come back so many times, people are invested in his story. He's proven that he's willing to put the work in. This was like a big turning point. He's like, well, if you lost that much weight, you actually care. So they start making outfit suggestions for him and he starts to get a sense of style. <laughs> Then he keeps working out. He adds some glasses, starts doing baseball caps. He starts to get pretty hot. <laughs> Again, this is all in a period of like a few months of him just taking every single suggestion point by point, not getting offended and working on it. This is kind of crazy. Also, in addition, he's shouting out people. Anytime someone gives him actual help, he shouts them out. He shows gratitude and thankfulness. This woman walked him through the concept of skincare. This woman walked him out of style and outfit, called him her sisters, <laughs> who have shown me so much patience and guidance. And he keeps posting selfies every single day as he makes progress, okay? I mean, look at this guy on the right. That's a handsome dude. Then he starts getting professional photos. Now he's like basically a model. <laughs> then they start putting him in magazines. <laughs> which is insane. Then finally, after two years of this, of his life basically turning around dramatically from this step-by-step -step process, he gets married. <laughs> he makes a post, I'm finally getting married. Thank you everyone for your help. His original goal. <laughs> It's kind of an inspiring story. A, a person who literally didn't let any bullying get to him, just took lessons, worked on self-improvement, and, and made it, it like turned his whole life around. And that would normally be the end of our story. It would be a little fun story about China. 
But that story is too compelling to end there. You see, once people started to hear about that story, largely through this woman's account who brought it to TikTok and talked about it, they all wanted to do the same thing. <laughs> so all of a sudden, people all over China started to do the same thing. Chinese netizens started to ask for help on how to get hotter. But then once it spread outside of China, now we have people that don't even speak Chinese all over the world. <laughs> America and all over are downloading Little Red Book, a Chinese social media app they can't even understand. And they are all taking photos with this same thing that they learned from this woman's tutorial. This means tell me the truth. <laughs> and then they are taking Google Translate and reading the comments. <laughs> It's gone like viral worldwide. Help me please netizens. My name is Stacy. I'm 16, I'm Afro-Latina. I'm looking for netizens advice. Again, she doesn't speak any Chinese. Chinese social media gives like detailed responses. You know, they give you like actual get cleansing oil, water your water gel, hydrating toner, gel moisture. They're getting crazy with it. Uh, and it's not just women, it's guys. So there's guys doing it too. And they're all doing it in China. And so I have taken this to heart. And though you guys roast me constantly, I have taken a photo of me with one of these and Stefik is going to submit it and see what advice Chinese social media has given me on how to look better. Uh, bringing up my appearance, I now have a profile on Chinese social media. Wait, she made my fucking background a glizzy and a coffee. <laughs> I'm from the US and would like advice from Chinese netizens on how to glow up. Please don't hesitate to be brutally honest. Any advice is welcome. Thank you so much. I am now asking Chinese social media for help glowing up. And now by next week, we're going to have actual feedback. Okay, quick update offline on what happened with this post. Now we'll give you a better update later, but after 24 hours, I can already say that I hate the responses. And not because they're roasting me, but because no matter where where I go on earth, I get the same responses. After, you know, less than 24 hours, we had 600 views. And these are the comments I got. Your facial expression implies you aren't really looking for advice. Okay, well, that's fine. My friend says you're a coffee cow. He suggests you eat fewer glizzies, heart. Eat fewer glizzies, drink less coffee. <laughs> so, we'll see what actual advice I get from China in a future update. We have a slight warning to end the video. If you wanna ask for advice, be prepared for harsh comments or no comments, okay? Be open to suggestions. You have to follow up with updates or they think you're just farming it. And yeah, keep going. And also, if you're an influencer who wants to use this trend, like if you're already hot, if you're already a really hot person and you go on there and you're like, oh, please give me advice. Like, I'm, I don't know what to do. They'll fucking tear into you. <laughs> <laughs> that was her key thing. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll be following up very soon with a was up Beijing on the stock market, but I wanted to give you this little taste of an interesting story coming out of China. Check it, check it. Hey, hey.